Hello and welcome back guys and in this video I will be breaking down to you the El Dorado treasure hunt event so that you can possibly claim yourself the 101 rated Hammonds Rodriguez card. Yeah I know I have delayed the video it's already been 7 days of the event but I was really waiting for that hidden gold section of the event to unlock so that I can get a more clear image of what is going to happen for the rest 14 days and how you can proceed and plan so now that i have the complete overview of the event and complete understanding of the event as well i can tell you the exact or the hundred percent thing of how you can claim yourself the hundred and one rated hamish rodriguez card but i'm really disappointed by fifa in many aspects the first aspect being that there is no free to play prime icon which i was really expecting second of all uh, there was the twitter post of uh, the players that they were going to give us through this event and i saw the kilo navas card the 99 rate kilo navas and i was really excited i was really focused on getting that 99 rate kilo navas card but sadly i don't know what happened uh, the kilo navas card didn't appear in the game I don't know if it appeared in the paid packs but in the free to play genre it never appeared. I thought that it would appear in the uh, hidden gold thing but it didn't appear in the hidden gold thing as well. So leaving all those things aside let's just begin with the video. So you, if you play the uh, skill games you aren't gonna get a shit. That's the FIFA thing that's the EA thing. If you play the skill games and get 10 points every time you play you aren't gonna get a shit so you need to play the versus attack matches with a winning rate of 55 to 60 percent this winning rate is inclusive of the fact that you are getting a thousand more gold points from the hidden gold event Neg even including that you need to maintain a winning rate of 55 to 60 percent i know it's really hard but that's how EA does things, you know, you have to win 55 to 60 percent of your worst attack or head to head matches to get yourself just sufficient, just sufficient amount of points to go for the Hamas Rodriguez card. So let's take the on paper condition, which is 15 mining points per match, which is 100 percent winning rate. If you go by the 100 percent winning rate, Per day, you should guarantee yourself 690 gold points, which if I total it up for the entire 21 days, you are getting yourself 14,490 gold points and you need 11,100 gold points to go for the Hamas Rodriguez card. But that ain't gonna happen. We all know that nobody is winning 100% of their matches. So let's take the possible option, the viable option, which is 55 to 60 percent win rate. If you maintain this win rate, according to my calculation, you should average 12 mining points per match you play. An average of 12 mining points per match you play. So if you go by that, if you collect 12 mining points per match you play, in a day, you are getting more than 550 gold points which if i total it up for the entire 21 days you are getting yourself 11,655 gold points excluding the extra thousand gold points you're getting from the hidden gold event if you add that you should guarantee yourself 12,655 gold points and for the hans rodriguez card you need 11,100 gold points. So you're just nearly, you know, you're nearly making it to the Hamas Rodriguez card. But it's good enough. You're getting yourself a 101 rated card through which you can bank your in yourself a pretty decent amount. The minimum price that the Hamas Rodriguez card can drop to is 30 mil because that's the general trend if you watch the general market trend the present price of Hannes Rodriguez is at 90 million or above 
generally when a card is having that range of price when it's just dropped or when only the pay to play players have got that it's obvious that it would drop a humongous amount and it by my estimate it should drop to a least of 30 million it can drop even further to 24 but uh, chances of happening are really low because if you see for the team of the season event the minimum 101 rated play drop to was 30 mil no 101 rated play was going less than 30 mil so you should at least bank in yourself 30 mil from Hamas Rodriguez which I feel is worth the grind but the fact that there is no free to play prime icon and even getting that uh, you know end of the era card is really hard and the end of the era card is not that good the previous event the atlantis for the atlantis the end of the era azure Ridge was really good but this time mm, i'll say no it's not that good as azure Ridge. even the boost is not good for azure Ridge, the boost was good this time this end of the era card has really bad boost i think yes the acceleration boost i don't prefer the acceleration boost if if not for mbappe if it's on mbappe yeah you know it's good but since it's not on mbappe and even the pace is not good including the fact that it has acceleration boost on it it really makes the thing kind of punchy and i know for a matter of fact that very very less players will actually be able to claim that 101 rated Hamish Rodriguez card just because of this 55 to 60 percent win rate you can't maintain that rate right the matchmaking are not perfect always you are gonna get players which you can't defeat at all so maintaining that 55 to 60 percent win rate is really hard and you must include that I I personally assume that you are spending 1000 no 125000 coins on the coin pack to get nine more energies i'm including that fact i'm considering that you are buying that if you don't buy that it's impossible yeah you don't have to spend any gem on the game but you have to spend those money so that's it for today guys hope you guys enjoyed my video if you did smash down that like button subscribe to my channel if you're new over here and i'll meet you in the next video but until then Peace.